English, you go to Hong Kong tonight. I'm sending someone with you. Agent Tucker. It'll be an honor, sir. Well, it'll be good to have somebody to carry the bags. It's very exciting to have Hong Kong as a, an element in this spy story. It sort of brings in some glamour. Hong Kong was terrific, actually. Very, very interesting place. And, and of course, because our plot is about China and Chinese politics, it was great to be there. And I think we got some very good footage there. It was amazing. Macau was like this kind of city of lights and casinos and all this. And this humongous crane shot. That was cool. This really is Las Vegas, the east. Everybody's out to meet Mr. Bean. They know he's here. We're going to get plenty of people. If you look on the other side of the road, too, there's just rows of them lined up. Don't quite know how we're going to dodge them. It's a funny thing, you know, you put an actor in front of a massive backdrop like Hong Kong, and all of a sudden the, the movie feels bigger than it did without doing that. As you'll see when you go up on the rooftops where we're going to do the parkour sequence, that you've got a 360 degree panorama of Hong Kong up there, and so that anything's going to look amazing. But the building we're on today is called Chunking Mansions. It's a kind of astonishing building in that we're surrounded by very fancy high-tech buildings all around. And they're just two or three old saws on the landscape, and this is one of them. Where we are in the story is bad guy Ling has stolen the crucial part of a key, and uh, Johnny's come chasing him up onto the roof. And we'll do a chase all the way across here where Ling, who is a sort of parkour expert, will be showing us various flamboyant moves. Ling is played by Williams Bell. Williams Bell is a parkour specialist. Parkour is, is free running, uh, moving from object to object or building to building without touching the ground, basically. The main action is the big jump. Ling tries to escape from Johnny by jumping across this gap behind me here, which is 16 feet. He will free jump this, so he will do this for real. Uh, he will be on a safety wire, just to make sure you know, if anything did go awry, uh, we would have him. It's about 180 feet straight down, and it's just around about the limit of his, his capabilities to do it free on this. We, don't, we only have about a three foot drop from takeoff point to landing point over the 16 feet. So he's, uh, he's got to go some to make it. The stunt should be pretty spectacular. And uh, we have to hold Williams back. He's sort of raring to go all the time. Of course, the rest of us have done it already and uh, didn't find it too troubling. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to it, holding my breath. As soon as you look down over the edge of these things, you, you kind of realize what nerve it takes. So he's got a, a fairly perilous challenge. Hong Kong has been a terrific addition, I think, to the production values of the film. There's both the sort of splendor, the sort of sense of wealth, but also the back streets and the squalor and the shadiness, all of which are great ingredients for a thriller. The first few days of our um, trip to Hong Kong were covering the, the fight on the pontoon um, and Johnny pursuing Ling and it was fantastic, the location was superb, the mixture of these old barges and cranes, huge hulking great things, and behind them, the great needles of Hong Kong. So it's a wonderful soup of different images and characters, and I think it brings something exotic to the whole story. Can I just say so? Hi. Yes, Tucker? That was just massive. Yes, it was rather large. 